So welcome back to the Fogger Football Programme Live. Let me give you a final rundown of the sides. First of all, Dunfermline. Number one, Ryan Scully. Two, Ross Millen. Three, Ross Drummond. Four, Lewis Martin. Five, Jonathan Page. Six, Andy Gagan. Seven, Faisal El Bakhtol. Eight, Lewis Spence. Nine, Michael Moffat. Ten, Josh Falkham. Eleven, Ross Ford. On the bench, number 20, Ryan Goodfellow, of Chigokiva. Twelve, Ryan Thompson. Fourteen, Chigozi Ugwe. Fifteen, Finn Graham. Sixteen, Sean Byrne. Seventeen, Alan Smith. And eighteen, Ryan Williamson. Falkirk line up, up, line up number one, Jamie McDonald, 17, Alan Mabry, 15, Liam Dix, 6, Will Volks, 5, David McCracken, 8, Blair Olsen, 7, Tom Taiwo, 4, Ollie Durajai, 11, Conor McGrandles, 20, Alex Cooper and 33, Rory Loy. Today's substitutes, number 12, Graham Bowman, 24, Ryan McGeever, 14, Peter Grant, 19, Luke Leahy, 10, Craig Sybil, 23, Scott Shepherd and 28, Botte Biabi. Today's referee is George Salmon. Sent across that far side to Lewis Martin, then played wide to Ross Milne. Milne, space ahead of him. Sends the ball into the penalty area. Punched away by McDonald. Got there ahead of Michael Moffat. Base. McCracken gets his foot to it. as far as Spence again. Back to Page. Square, it goes to Martin. Into midfield to Forbes. Beat to the ball though. Now Ro Rory Loy up against Page, comes inside him, and again, shoots, good save from, from uh, Scully, first real chance of the game. Michael Moffat sniffs around the penalty, whipped in the near post, dropped away, hit the post. Well, Jonathan Page had a chance, played it first time, but dropped behind all the Fogart players, but luckily for Fogart, hit the post. Now it's with Ross Drummond. The home fans are here for the first time, goes inside McGrandles. Play through, Falkirk allowing them to play again, but it's not forward. Alston can't quite. Goes down by back two, has to give it back to McCracken. Maybe hand up, and he gets it from McCracken on his near side. Nobody ahead of him, though. Tries to take on Gagan, plays it inside to Lloyd. First time left to Tywo, not forward to McGrandles. Now McGrandles uses Alston as a dummy run. Plays it back to Cooper. Shoots! Corner to Falkirk, first corner again to him. That's better. Yeah, much more like it, Andy. Just uh, Falkirk dictating the play there. Good pass and move, one touch stuff. And I have to say a decent effort from Cooper as well, but uh, nicely off by McGrandles. Not much else on, so Cooper quite right just to have a have a pop. So it'll be Tom Tywo takes this corner. It's come up to the 20th minute. Tywo near post, poor one not. Easily knocked away. Back two, there with Liam Dick. And if he decides to sandwich with Cooper and Dick. Falkingham complains about Cooper again, but Jonathan Page leaves it for. Oh, Olsen does brilliantly to take that ball. Now Blair Olsen, chance to drive forward. Shoots. Oh, not far away from Blair Olsen. Tell you what, he's given a corner for nothing. You have to head it out for another throw into Dunfermline. Again, Milne. Back to this time. Back to Milne. Played in behind for. So it turns away. Oh, just past the far post. Well, good effort there. From back two, came inside. David McCracken, left foot shot. Had Jamie McDonald scrambling. Good effort. Is it short to play it over the top for back two? He's his pace in behind Liam Dick. They've got men in the box. Can he pick one of them out? Oh, headed forward by Michael Moffat. Ball came out a bit quickly, but Falkert carved open there. Dropped over the head of Will Volks. Michael Moffat, usually so deadly in those positions, headed past the far post. Played forward by Dick Biabi, quickly onto it. Catches it on the line, tries to turn inside page and manages it. Good play from Biabi. Scores the ball the edge of the area. Taiwo shoots. Great goal from Tom Taiwo. But really, it's all about Botti Biabi. He chased that ball down. Cut it back to the edge of the area and Tom Tywo scores his first goal for the Bairns. Tell you what, Andy, I bet you they'll get his name right now. Great play by the young man. Chasing it down, winning it back right on the byline, beating the centre half. And let's be honest, did well. Cut it back in the middle. Tom Tywo wasn't on a plate for him. Still a bit of work to do. Composed himself well. Took a couple of steps, drove it back across goal and a great finish. Well, Bioti Biabi had no right to get that ball, but he kept to the task. Turned aside Jonathan Page. When he got there, he cut back inside. Ball to the edge of the area. 
players moving in allowed Tom Tyler to get the space and his right foot shot was right in the bottom corner so after 54 minutes it's done firmly nil Falkirk 1 it's Liam Dick and Dick back to McCracken turns back to Dick Falkirk there inside to Tywo forward it goes to Biabi back to Tywo good link up play across that far side to Alan Mabry great Anders pass Amizia goes on the overlap played into Sybil good control good turn what a turn that was from Sybil drops to Tywo Biabi back to Tywo takes it wide Plays it for his oh, roof. Fantastic goal by Tom Tywo. Shook it away to the edge of the area. Flicked it with the outside of his right foot. Past a stranded Ryan Scully. What a goal that was, Lewis. Tywo goals are like buses, Andy. What a hack with the outside of the foot. Everybody stopped, expect them to cross it. He's seen the keeper near post. Curled it with the outside of the foot. Absolutely rooted to the spot, Scully. No chance at all. What a Been in the air, but Durajai picks up the loose ball. And gets caught in possession and brings down. Yeah, we've got a yellow card for that. Ollie do the giant. Got a chance to clear it. Ross Forbes took it away from him and he brought him down. Yeah, not a lot of doubt about that one, Andy. I think we have to concede it was a, it has a yellow card. Referee George Salmon does the needful. So a free kick for Dunfermline, some oh, 25, 27 yards out. Tell you what, the Fogart Wall's not back 10 yards, probably back 10 feet. Is the Tell you three. what, Andy, we've seen Ross Forbes hit a few of these for this kind of distance. Certainly his kind of territory. So Ross Forbes stands over it. George Salmon just paces out 10 yards. Moves the Fogart Wall back. Four man wall, Durajai, Sibold, Taiwo. And the Grandos. So Jimmy McDonald lined them up, Alan Mabry. Stands behind Michael Moffat, so Forbes. Oh, great save for McDonald. Hangle towards the top corner, but a great save for Mike from Jim McDonald. Corner for Dunfermline. Absolutely brilliant save, Andy. Certainly for the angle we were at here, you can see that was going right in the postage stamp top corner. Sybil tries to get across. Williamson takes it on. Oh, Sybil does well though. And free kick for Dunfermline. So we'll trip the full back. So a free kick. Just outside the 18-yard box. It's going midway through the second half. It's a free kick. Ross well, Milne's encouraged to come across and take it. All the big men on the edge of the area again. Every single player, Falkert side, back in their own 18-yard box. One man wall, Rory Lloyd. Biabi on the corner of the six-yard box. So it's Ross Millen. Everybody moves forward. Well, I don't know what Millen's doing. Well, just waits for everybody to line up. The usual dummy here, played forward. Headed to the back of the net. Well, Falkett fell for it. Falkett fell for it, and that allowed Andy, G uh, allowed Andy Gagan to come forward and head that one into the back of the net. Well, they fell for it. But, uh, Oh, and now he allows it, Rory Loy. Loy. Cuts it back. Oh, hits the side net in Rory Loy. He had Biabi in the centre. He apologises. What a chance that was, Lewis. He follow again by Williamson. This time Liam Dick's there. Nods it for behind, behind for Sybil, but Williamson will pick up the loose ball. Plays inside Tywo. Gets it forward to Rory Loy. Loy. Good turn from Loy. Plays into Sybil. Runs away from Falkingham. Up to Milne. Biabi holds the ball up at the edge of the area. Uh, free kick for Dunfermline, I'm not sure what that's for. It's a stamp, surely. Well, Martin stood on Biabi. Biabi gets up, but Martin stood on him. Careful, Bote, don't react, don't with react. Millen. Oh, stupid Biabi, absolutely oh, stupid. It was a Unbelievably dive, stupid. Gone. Moved his head towards Milne, he never set off. Him, Andy. Unbelievably stupid. And he has another go at Falkingham this time. You need to get him off. It's absolutely, unbelievably stupid. He didn't touch him. I know it's not right. I don't condone what he's done, but he's got so angry and frustrated because he knows he never touched him, Andy. Millen's goaded him into it and gone well, down.
Martin gets it to Falkingham. White to Williamson on this near side. Referee Salmon checks his watch. Back to Martin. Come on, ref. Square to Millen. Now Ross Millen. Ross Drummond on that far side. Now Drummond drives the ball in. Tom Tywo heads it clear. And that's it. Full time here at East End Park. A fantastic victory for Falkirk under difficult circumstances. Two goals from Tom Tywo in the second half. A sending off from Beotti Biabe. And then a goal from Andy Gagan. But Falkirk held on for that last 15 minutes. Back to the wall performance. The substitution by Peter Houston bringing on Luke Lee to stop the runs of Andy, uh, Ryan Woodson with an absolute master stroke. All of a sudden, the, the, the attacking threat of Dunferman disappeared. It's Hans Sanchez all round, but really, Bratti Biabi really has to take a look at himself. Forward with quick control of this game, and he got until he got himself sent on, sent off, and that gave Dunferman all the encouragement they needed. But it's Falkirk who straight on, winning the 100th meeting between these clubs to rack up number five. It's 33 for the, for the pars. Well, what a second half that was. Two great goals from Tom Tywell, ascending off, and then a goal, and then backs to the wall. Yeah, and it can add a bit of everything in the end. What was a, a fairly kind of quiet first half, certainly livened up in the second. Andy, bloody hell, what a happy outside of the foot. 